Welcome to Now Loading, brought to you by our friends over at Mountain Dew, Jeremy Duff from Gaming Nexus and Rogue Gaming is in the house. What's up, buddy? Good morning. Welcome. It's great to have you. Now, uh, we got a couple of games to talk about here in, in a few minutes. Tomb Raider. We yeah. to get to Tomb Raider. Or the alternate uh, <laughs> person you can play in the game. You can play me in the game, the Womb Raider. Oh, yeah. yeah. The Womb Raider. <laughs> Uh, this this game is <laughs> something that's many levels. that's dear to my heart because, like I was saying a, a little bit ago, that's like the last video game I remember playing. You know, as so, a kid, that's one of the last ones I remember playing. See, it's a lot different now than the one you remember. Though. Oh yeah, yeah. They, get a boob reduction. What is it? Major. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was honestly one of the big complaints when they remade the game back in 2013. Was what a titty that? Yeah, they drastically changed her look, so made it a little more conservative. But let's be honest. Oh, so she's blonde now. You know, <laughs> I see a little more ass on Laura Croft. All right, I see she was doing some squats or something. You know, but yeah, these are more about when she was younger and before she became the Laura Croft that you knew in the games. This is where she's just kind of discovering. Well, how old is the Laura Croft I know? Oh, she was probably looked every bit of twenty six. I mean, I'm not, Maybe. I'm not buying that she was fighting <laughs> crime at sixteen or something. You know, why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't seem probable. So it was before the boob job. Listen, is what they're saying. Heard of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah, I guess so. High school I get, kick ass, right? I guess there. you're right. She still could have the uh, surgery done in like the third game or something. So, well, All yeah. I mean, lost. you well, you got to find some treasure first. Yeah, you got to pay for yeah, it. Yeah, these surgeons aren't working for free over here. So, yeah, so, so this new game, here. tell me about like what we have in this game. This is called Rise of the Tomb Raider, and it is at least for now exclusive to the Microsoft consoles. Okay, so only Xbox One and, if and 360. If you still rock archaic systems like 360, like I do, then you yeah. can get it for that one too. You haven't made any headway on that. No, but here's yeah, we are. We're gonna. Sell. I think we're a PS4 family now. Oh uh, really? Who says? Jade and I want Xbox. I know, but I you want don't even PS4. Play, but you yeah. don't even play. But I am. I'm a little better than you, and. Is that why you stopped talking? <laughs> I, 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 it just those words need to crawl right back in that mouth because no. Way. I don't know. I kind of took. Waiting for somebody. To I kind of took you to your limit in Guitar Hero. I definitely. I gave did. you all you can handle in Guitar Hero. You couldn't even beat me. What are you talking Randy. about? See, now I You're not going to lie to these people, are you? Between you two. There's yeah. no competition. The somebody new one. somebody texted and in. and I have competitions. Lower watches. Randy, come on. <laughs> Don't sit there and lie on the skills. I mean, come on. Jeremy. Hey, so Jeremy uh, Wayne somebody texted in. They said it's Laura, not Laura. Okay. Laura. 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 Like Laura are you in Dara. that cave? It's so dark and damp in this cave, Laura. So, what kind of gameplay are we to expect? Like, who's like the main villain that we're fighting? Um, well, it's, she's going up against this organization that is supposedly trying to cover up the events that she discovered in the first game. Okay. So she is in trekking through Siberia. So you're looking at a much colder environment. You're dealing with snow and ice. And so more clothes. More exactly. Okay. A lot more, more clothes, bundled so up. You're not Croft. too happy. Laura right? Croft. You're not too happy now, are you? No, well, no, I'm fine with that, man. What, what am I, some <laughs> kind of pervert over here? To get my jollies. Well, all right. So <laughs> now that game is available. When you say that is available today? Oh, and, today! Uh, all right, cool. Great reviews across the board. Um, not too much is being said about the 360 version because everybody focuses on the Xbox One. But we know they're primarily the same game. It just probably looks a it little rubbing it in, a little I, worse. I, but is it like Call of Duty? Like, is there a campaign mode that's missing or anything like that? No, it's a full fledged um, single player. Typical Tomb Raider adventure, and it's going to be the same game on both. So people say PS4 is it's so much better than person. Xbox. He wrote it twice. I so know, but I'm just saying. If that tells well, you about a PS owner. Jeremy Duff, come on, man. You are a gaming expert. This is what you do okay. for a living. Here's my question. Does he have a lot of 360 games? Yes, he does. Do you still play them yes, pretty Yes, they're compatible. Get with an the Xbox three... One. Thank you. <sighs> We're going to throw all Bro. of our stuff away, Lover, because you no, want, you want a game that... Uh, just get both. What's the problem? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, Howie wrote this in, and I agree. I've been seeing awesome commercials for it. Fallout 4? Yes. Yeah, Fallout that's 4. The other big it looks so week. good. Now, that's available on PC, Xbox One, and PS4, right? Yes, that is probably the big release of this week. Apocalyptic and Boston. Hey, but they're not doing much for the 360, so oh, okay. don't even yeah. ask. Yeah. None at all in this case. But yeah, it's a hugely popular franchise, and uh, I know like three guys from the site literally have taken this week off of their normal day jobs. Oh, is that right? Just to play this game? Yeah. So it's two hundred years. It's set two hundred years following a nuclear war. Yep. It starts off with you and your family just relaxing, normal day. Then the bombs go off. You go into a shelter, and they put you into like a cryogenic state. 
You didn't know they, they were They freeze do that. you? Yeah, you didn't know they were going to do that, and they do. And then suddenly you wake up two year, 200 years later, and like the whole vault that they had you in is dilapidated and falling apart and everything. And you go wandering out basically into the wasteland. Wow. You 200 imagine, years later. Yeah, 200 years later. You imagine how many iPhone updates you have at that point? <laughs> you won't be able to leave your you cave for function. two weeks. Yeah. So are the kids and stuff, family still there, or do they die in the... I'm not going to ruin that. Oh. I, I played a little bit of it last week. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ruin that, but that's a good part of the story. All right, we got one question on line one here. Good morning. It is the Blitz. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. I just got a question. Uh, the new PS4 has like two different versions. Like one is like 500 gigabyte and one is one TB. But they're saying like the 500 gigabyte has an upgrade that the one TB doesn't. So which one, you know, should I lean towards? Well, it the, the systems themselves are the same. Basically, the difference there is just the size of the hard drive that's inside, which obviously the 500 goes really, really quick. But it's also uh, worth noting they're pretty easy to upgrade yourself. I mean, you just got to buy a laptop okay. hard drive at like Micro Center, and it literally sl- once uh, slides in, you press a button, and it reformats it. So, you know, I say just shop for the best deal, honestly. Okay. Any bundles out there I should, like, lean towards? Um, there's a, probably the best one for the PlayStation comes out next week, which is the Star Wars bundle, because it has the new oh, game, okay. plus it's got a bunch of the older Star Wars games. Does the console look like Vader? It. It's got like a Vader decal oh. over it. That oh, shows like the profiles. Okay, so how much is that going to cost? Just I say. think it's three forty nine. <sighs> Lopa. Oh, what about Xbox? Oh, I am your Thank console. You. Okay. What about an Xbox One uh, bundle? Do you know any? any uh, most of them are three ninety nine. Mm-hmm. They've got a couple... For three might be get pricey over there, there huh? but it's a little more expensive than a PS4. Yeah, it's Why? about fifty dollars more. Expensive All right, fine. You want the, the PS4? Price. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Why? With, the, the, with, the, with Darth Vader on Why it. Why is it cheaper? I want to know. It's because it's suckier. No, it's just their marketing and how they've. Microsoft has always been a tad bit more expensive. Really? See, I thought it was the other way around. To be honest with you, no. I thought usually. it was the other way around too. Um, question for the gaming guru. Do you need to have played the previous Fallout games to get the full experience? No. Each Fallout game is kind of its own individual story, so you would not be lost. Does PS4 charge you to play online now? Some games. There are a couple games that are free, but they do have their PlayStation Plus service, which is roughly about $6 a month. So it's a little cheaper than Xbox uh, Gold, but it's a much better service because they give you like six free games a month versus... Uh, the Xbox gives two to four, mm. and it's just, I find it to be a much better service. We are talking games right now with Jeremy Duff from Gaming Nexus and Rogue Gaming. It's brought to you by Mountain Dew. Now loading is the segment, and we got one more game to talk about. we got a couple of phone calls to take, so let's go with the phone call first. Alice in Columbus, you're up. you got a question uh, about your old Xbox reading CDs or something? Ooh. Oh, yeah, she's not speaking the same language. All right, so we don't have that question. That's the state of the old <laughs> Xbox, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's talk about uh, StarCraft Two. This is a new expansion for StarCraft, which has a big following for the competitive gaming scene. You always hear the stories of the Korean guys or whatever dying in the internet cafes. This is what they're playing. Is that they, where it happens? Korea? Yeah. Is it Korea? South, South Korea, South, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. This is, this is the game they're always playing when you hear about the guys who went on three-day gaming binges and killed over in a chair. So, Very popular amongst the competitive scene, and this is the last... Um, expansion for the game before we move on to hopefully StarCraft 3. If you play games so long that you die, I'm sorry, but you're taking up my air. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, not anymore. Might be natural selection, you know? <laughs> I'm not sure, but call wait, me crazy. Wait, what games? But, you, you know, you've heard these people that play games until they die. You know, they like, don't eat, they don't go yeah. to the bathroom. Oh, right. We can't be friends if that's I have like a full C's. I don't miss meals. From so. too much Mountain right. Dew. <laughs> if I had to sit here and watch you play more levels until I can eat, no, we're not. It's a part of our relationship. <laughs> it's the end. Hey, good morning. It is the Blitz. This is, uh, is this Allison again? Yep. Oh, what's up, Allison? Allison. What's your question? I still have the same question. My Xbox is okay. scan. What was the question? My Xbox 360 won't scan CDs or anything. Yeah, unfortunately that happens as the system gets older, and that's a pretty popular thing is for the actual disk drive to die. So Yep, that happened to me with three different Xboxes. Do you yeah. know that? I went through three of them. You know yeah, what you need I to do? Through, uh, I went through six Xbox 360s over really? the time the system. Yeah. Allison, you need to take out the cartridge and just go... <laughs> Not anymore, Lil. That doesn't work. <laughs> All right. It's done. Yeah, unfortunately it's pretty much done at that point because 
considering the cost of the system, it would cost you as much to have that drive replaced by a service center. So, all right. Now I have to up. Sorry. What was your favorite game, Allison? Uh, probably Skyrim or Fallout. All right. Ooh, Fallout. Ooh. It's got to really sting with the new Fallout today, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully everything <laughs> works out for down, you, okay? Lope. Well, that's all right. I mean, I'm just bonding. You yeah, know? your Xbox sucks. Guess what even sucks more? You can't play the new game. I know. You, you want to go over to Jeremy's house later? You probably do that. I mean, I'm going to offer up his place. You can play over there, you know. All right. Thank you. People are texting in 53299. Xbox is a Fallout 4 bundle package, yes, Randy's a J. Um, so what's that? Like, you get like a sticker on top of it? No, you no, get it's the game. A, and it's the game, and the system is a different color. It's kind of got Fallout colors and kind that's of things. Cool. Okay, that's love, cool. I yeah, see, I like systems. the skins, man. They do a lot of that with the big games nowadays. Um, Call of Duty, there's a Call of Duty bundle. There's yeah. the Halo bundle. Molly Fallout said bundle. there's a Best Buy GameStop offering Fallout for free with the purchase of a PS4. You're going to see quite a few over the next couple of weeks that yeah. just give you a free game in general and let you pick from whatever's on the shelves. So there you go, Also, man. what about the new WWE? I'm enjoying it. You are enjoying it? Is it good? It yeah. I mean, Any cool characters that we don't know about? Um, just, I like Sting is a lot it? of the old school. Um, they I put mean, Sting? Yeah, Sting's in there, both versions. The, you know, the yeah, old Beach Sting, Boy 80s Sting, Sting and Beach Boy Sting. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the one where he's from Venice Beach, California, instead of Parts Unknown? I don't know. I'm hooked because I get to play as Ravishing Rick Rude with Bobby mm. Heenan, so... Oh. Ravishing Rick Rude was one of the greatest wrestlers yes, of all time. A lot of that's a man's man right there. A lot of people don't know about <laughs> Ravishing Rick Rude, man. That dude was the truth, man. Yes, uh, I hit you with the Rude Awakening. Lady's face right there on the crotch of yeah, the trunk. Do you know that that was Jake the Snake's wife? wife? Yes, it was. And then he would randomly pick out broads from the crowd and make out with them. Yep. That's a pimp right there. I have a question coming in: My six-year-old wants an Xbox and Minecraft. Is he too young? No, not, not for, for Minecraft. Minecraft. No, Minecraft. you know what? Don't get him Minecraft. I think it's so boring. Get him Minecraft. WWE. Let him play as Rick Rude. Get a little hair on his chest. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking of hair on the chest, it's Jeremy Duff. All right, there you go. There he is. Thanks a lot, buddy. It's brought to you by Mountain Dew today. Games, 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 games. I do adore.